This is the ball toss lab from Physics with Vernier. And in this lab, uh, the data were collected using a GoDirect motion detector. And the way this device works is it sends out a pulse of ultrasound. So it goes out and bounces off an object and comes back. So it's measuring how far away the object is from, from the detector. In this case, uh, the object is a ball. And the person doing the experiment would put it on the uh, detector on its back. And they threw the ball in the air over the motion detector. And what we see in the data set is a graph, on the two graphs, and the upper graph is position versus time, and the lower graph is the velocity versus time. And from this, we can uh, discern the acceleration due to gravity um, as the ball is flying through the air. So let me show you how to do some of the analysis. Um, one important piece of this one is that we, you want to analyze the part of the data that occurred when the ball was actually in, in flight, in free fall, which is just that center section there. So to do that, uh, what you have to do is highlight the region of the graph, and you just do that by clicking and dragging. And so that section of the graph is what would be analyzed uh, with the software. And then likewise, you could do the same thing at the bottom, uh, where you would highlight the region of the graph when the ball was in free fall. Uh, to demonstrate maybe what the curve fit would look like, uh, I will go up here and over to the graph tools section on the left, click there, and the lab has you select a curve fit, and we have different choices here, and I might uh, try, try that and apply the curve fit. Um, and so um, this lab is analyzing um, uniformly accelerated motion um, using the graphical analysis software and the GoDirect motion detector.